Hey there, this is Erica from Highland Hickory Designs and I'm here today with another gorgeous stitch pattern to share with you. I did this in thread, but you don't have to. You can do this in any kind of yarn you wish. Just use the hook recommended on the packaging. For today's project, I used Aunt Lydia's crochet thread. It's a size 10 and the color is called Natural. And we're also using a 1.5 millimeter crochet hook. Pretty tiny, but these ergonomic handles make it nice. And if anyone is interested, I've created a stitch chart. You can take a screenshot of this video. If you don't want to take a screenshot, on my blog I offer a free PDF that has a copy of this hand-drawn stitch chart as well as the written instructions. And you can just go on my blog, the link will be in the description box below, and click on the PDF and download it straight to your computer or phone, whatever you'd like to do, and it's all for free. So look for that in the description box below. So let's get started with the tutorial. So for this project, you're going to need to chain a multiple of nine plus six, and this is a four row repeat pattern. So to begin, we're going to chain a multiple of nine for 27 plus six for 33. All right, 33 chains. For row one, you're going to work a single crochet in the eighth chain from the hook. Chain four. Skip three chains, single crochet in the next stitch or next chain. Now we're going to chain five. And skip four chains. Single crochet in the next chain. And that's what you will repeat across. Chain four, skip three, single crochet. Chain five, skip four, single crochet. So we'll repeat that. Chain four, skip three, single crochet, chain five, skip four, single crochet, chain four, Skip three, single crochet, and when you get to the end of the row, there'll be three chains left. Chain two, skip two chains, single crochet. That is row one. Row two, you chain one, turn your work. In the very first stitch, single crochet, now you're going to skip this first chain two space and you're going to work nine double crochets in the chain four space. And if at any time you feel I'm going too fast or too slow for you, there's instructions in the description box on how to speed up or slow down my videos. Okay, 
nine double crochets in the chain four space. In the chain five space, you work a single crochet. In the next chain four space, you'll work another nine double crochets. There we go. And we'll repeat that across in the chain five space, a single crochet, chain four space, another nine double crochet, And for the last part, you're going to skip two chains and in the third chain, single crochet. There's row two. Row three, you're going to chain four. Turn your work. Skip this first stitch and then we're going to work a double crochet chain one in every stitch across for seven double crochets. So we'll skip the first one, we'll double crochet in the next stitch, chain one, double crochet, chain one. For your seventh double crochet, you don't chain one after that. You only chain one in between these ones. So then you'll skip three stitches and begin that again. Double crochet, chain one for seven double crochets. And one more. No chain one at the end. Skip three stitches and do it again.
last one. Okay, so you'll have two stitches left at the end and your final stitch will be a triple crochet in the last stitch. So you'll skip this one, work into the last stitch. A triple crochet is you yarn over twice, insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull back through, yarn over, draw through two loops, yarn over, draw through two loops, yarn over, draw through two loops. And that's a triple crochet. So that is row three. Row four, chain one, turn your work. You're going to single crochet in this very first stitch. Now we will skip this first stitch and we're going to work into the chain one spaces. So single crochet in the first chain one space. Chain three single crochet in the next chain one space chain three single crochet in the next chain one space chain three and you will continue this until you have five chain three spaces Right, right there. One, two, three, four, five. So you don't chain three after you're finished with this first fan. You're going to skip the space in between the fans right here and then work into your next chain one space and begin the process all over again. So single crochet. So it's going to be two single crochets right next to each other. Chain three. single crochet until you have five chain three spaces Skip the space in between, single crochet in the next chain one space, and begin again. Chain three, Okay, we have five chain three spaces. Once you get to the end, you'll have your chain four turning chain from the previous row and one last double crochet. So you're going to skip the double crochet and single crochet in the top of the turning chain. And that's row four. For row five, you're going to chain six. Skip the first chain three space, single crochet in the next space, chain four, skip this chain three space, single crochet in the next chain three space, chain five, skip two chain three spaces so in for one fan in the center of the fan you're going to skip one in between the two fans you're going to skip two single crochet in the next chain three space and we'll do that again chain four since we're in the begin the middle of the fan we're going to skip one chain three space single crochet in the next chain three space 
chain five, skip two chain three spaces, single crochet in the next chain three space, chain four, skip one chain three space, single crochet in the next chain three space. So you're going to alternate. The first chain is six, then four, five, four, five, four, and so on. And for this last part, you're going to chain two, skip the chain three space, and in this last stitch, triple crochet. So you yarn over twice, draw through two loops, draw through two loops, draw through two loops. And that is it for the pattern. All you have to do is repeat rows two, three, four, and five to your desired length. And when you're finished, you'll get this beautiful lacy crochet stitch pattern that would be perfect for bedspreads, curtains, blankets, anything you'd like to make. If you have any ideas you'd like to share on what you would make with this stitch pattern, please leave those in the comments below. I love to read your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It really helps my channel and I really appreciate it. I did wet block this swatch just in case you were wondering. So again, thank you so much for watching my video and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.